back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing reveal of Kernstown uh, from the American Civil War series, Volume 4. This is by Revolution Games, uh, designer Herman Lutman. Uh, this follows uh, in the footsteps of, uh, let's see, Stonewall Sword, Thunder in the Ozarks, Longstreet Attacks from Revolution. This is Battle of First Kernstown which was in 1862, and second Kernstown, which was in 1864. So it's two battles for the price of one. So let's take a look and see what you get inside. All right. Revolution always produces these very nicely. Two dice that work. And then we're also gonna get a turn tracker. So this is the victory point turn record track for the game. Uh, this would also be the cover if you got the bagged version, but this is the boxed version. So you can save a little money and get the bag if you if you like bagged games. All right, so you get that. Get a reference card for special events. These are unique events that you will throw into. You have these, uh, it's a chip pull system. So you will activate units based on the chips that are pulled, but also these uh, uh, Union and Confederate unique event chips go in the can go in the cup as well. And this is the reference sheet to tell you how to handle those. In addition, on the back, you get your player aid cards. So the uh, Union will get one sheet and the Confederate side will get the other sheet. Or if you're playing solo, since it's a chip pull, it's easy enough to do, you'll just have both of them. There's also a your cohesion test tables for making sure that units don't break. Uh, terrain key. Get two of those. As long as, you, as well as your combat results table, um, weapon ranges, fire combat, shifts, everything else that you need to resolve combat. It's a very easy system to learn, really. And once you've played one in the series, you can pretty much play the others, and they'll just be special exceptions for the particular battle, just as there are with other series games. Black and white rule book. All right, it's a little thicker cardstock, and it is again full black and white, no color. Um, it is 28 pages. It has your setups for the different scenarios, and there are five scenarios apparently. There's historic scenarios. There's and then there's sub sub scenarios as well to, for shorter games. So uh, there you go. And then the box just keeps sliding around. So light. All right. Then you get your counters. So you got two sheets of counters, it appears. So you got the fronts for the Battle of First Kern. Oh, this is the Battle of First Kernstown units, and this is the Battle of Second Kernstown, so they're not reusing a lot except for your markers, your shaken markers, uh, and some other things that will instruct you how. You've got skirmish orders, low ammo, so on and so forth. The, uh, the event shits are used with both. I'm not sure if it's a subset or if all of them are used. It'll dictate which ones you get. Two counter sheets. Uh, Revolution is pretty good about the counters popping out well, but they're probably going to need clipping. Or rounding, I should say. Not clipping. Rounding with a organ laminations 2.5 millimeter corner rounder. The one solution you need for all corner rounding. And then finally you get the map. And the, that's the beauty of these games. They're just so, the Rick Barber art maps are just so really, really nice. And this one is, this one's super nice as well. So, he is a, they're almost like vintage uh, maps because they're hand, completely hand drawn. And so they are. Very, very detailed, very cool. So there's Kernstown right there. And you got ridges, and you got your. They've added these height markers so you know that seven, eight, nine, instead of actually having the, the true altitude listed, you are getting, uh, you know, relative height indicators is the way I'm reading it anyway. So pick up a copy, can get the whole series. Uh, I think they're they're having a sale. Uh, it may have actually been in October, but next time they have a sale, grab them all. You're gonna get, as we showed, a map 
Rick Barber beautiful map, two sheets of counters, a rule book. It's 28 pages, black and white, two CRTs and uh, cohesion test tables, uh, two player reference cards, and on the, on the reverse side is the Union and Confederate event descriptions. Your victory point, turn tracker, broken box, and two dice. And if you get the boxed version, you're going to get this beautifully made box to store your game in. If not, you'll get a beautifully made plastic bag. So, Kernstown, first battle of Kernstown, and second battle of Kernstown from Revolution Games, designer Herman Lutman. That's what you get inside. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!